plant kingdom is divided into two subgroups, cryptogamy and phanerogamy. Subgroup, cryptogamy is divided into three divisions, thallophyta, bryophyta, pteridophyta. Subgroup, phanerogamy is divided into two divisions, gymnospermy and angiospermy. Thallophyta, thallus means undifferentiated, phyton means plant. Thallus refers to a plant body which is not differentiated into true roots, stem and leaves. The thallus may range from microscopic unicellular to macroscopic multicellular forms. Vascular tissues, xylem and phloem are absent. Sex organs are simple and mostly unicellular. If multicellular sterile envelope is absent, embryo is not formed. These are simplest plants. Bryophytes. Bryophytes, Bryophytes include the various mosses and liverworts that are found growing in moist shaded areas in the hills. Bryophytes are a small group of primitive plants which are commonly called amphibians of the plant kingdom. The word bryophyte, bryon, means moss, phyton means plant, was coined by Brown. The study of bryophytes is called bryology. They are characterized by following features. 1. Bryophytes chiefly occur in damp, shady and humid localities. 2. The plant body is gametophyte because it produces gametes. It is thallus-like in primitive form, rikia. In higher bryophytes, the plant body is differentiated into rhizoids, stem and leaves. The stem is prostrate or erect and attached to the substratum by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. They are organs of absorption and fixation. Pteridophytes Pteridophyte is considered as highly evolved group of cryptogams. The protonymal, a special position as the first land plants. The pteridophytes are also called vascular cryptogams as they possess xylem and phloem. Thus they are included as first group in tracheophyta. Pteridophytes are nicknamed as botanical snakes. They are characterized by the following features. 1. Pteridophytes are found in cool, damp, moist and shady places. 2. The plant body is a sporophyte and is differentiated into true root, stem and leaves. 3. The root system is of adventitious type. Gymnosperms Gymnosperms are seed-bearing plants. Gymnas means naked. Sperma means seed. The ovules are not exposed by ovary wall and remain exposed. Thus, they occupy intermediate position between pteridophytes and angiosperms. Gymnosperms are the primitive seed plants. Gymnosperms are characterized by the following features. 1. Most of the genera are entirely extinct and only few are living. 2. Generally, the gymnosperms are xerophytes. 3. They are predominantly woody plants. Few are climbers. 4. The sporophytic plant is evergreen. The tallest living gymnosperms is sequia. 5. The roots are generally tap roots. 
Roots in some genre have fungal association in the form of mycorrhiza, pinus, violin, cycas. The roots are called coralloid roots and associated with N2 fixing cyanobacteria. 6. The stems are unbranched, cycas, branched, pinus. 7. The leaves may be simple or compound, cycas, pinnate leaves. The leaves are well adapted to withstand extremes of temperature, humidity and wind. Angiosperms. Angiosperms constitute highly advanced plants which dominate the present vegetation. As the name indicate, in angiosperms, the ovules and seeds are enclosed in a sac-like structure called ovary, fruit, angio, sac, sperma means seed. The angiosperms exhibit the following features. 1. Angiosperms are a large group of plants occurring in wide range of habitat and their size varies from tiny olfia to tall trees, eucalyptus. 2. The sporophyte is the dominant phase of life history. It is differentiated into root, stem and leaf. 3. The leaves show distinct venation. 4. Vascular tissues are well developed. 5. Distinct secondary growth is seen. 6. Sexual reproduction is carried out by flowers which may be unisexual or bisexual.